Let's see, I almost got this here. We'll go back over to here, there. and then we go. No, that's not right yet either. Oh, no, it's not going to do no, it right here. Okay. This one here. Yeah, now, now, now depress okay. that one. Then, then this one will go to here. There you go. There's Kevin there. Well, that, that below. <laughs> Get this here. Jimmy's this back, here. but he is on some cold medication. So, should you be here. flying the ship right now? Should hey, I run the board? All of that was on the air, by the way. Yeah, Always. we know. Mm-hmm. Okay, we're set to go on air now. No, so, actually, we've been on air. Huh? You're, you're, Jim, yeah. you're on some cold medicine, which they always warn you know, don't lift heavy machinery and that stuff. Should you be running this audio board? Uh, he drove in. Right. Did I? That's a problem. <laughs> but do you want me to come over and run the board? No, 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 no. I'm fine. Well, you seem to be just a little uh, Man, medicated. That quite a bit there, you know, because things change. <laughs> In the afternoon, and if I don't change back, I like how you change. blame the medicine. Yeah, right. Yeah. So Kevin yesterday said your lung was over on the wall uh, from <laughs> when still, you were coughing and he's stuff. He's still hacking mm-hmm. it out. And oh my gosh. Just don't make me laugh. Uh, okay. Oh, well. No chance of that today. Come to the right place. You better here. go Not home today. then. <laughs> so, see, you're making me laugh. Uh-oh. Stop it here. Yeah. They got a beautiful day in store for us. 71's going to be the high. I know. What's up with that? Uh, Loving it. Like but I got to take my boots off. Yeah, winter mix tomorrow. So, you know, later in the week. Hello, Indiana. WFMS. 95.5 WFMS. It's a Wednesday morning. It is March the 1st. How about some good news to go right. along with that? Uh, we love we love dog stories. Mm-hmm. Uh, got a couple dog stories. A sheriff office in Kentucky has a brave, honest toddler. The dog story comes up in about 30 seconds, but here's one about a toddler. Uh, they have the toddler to thank for their honesty when they are looking for a fugitive. They arrived at the home to serve a warrant, but none of the adults inside the home uh, would say where the person that was wanted was. They knew it was somewhere in the house, but they wouldn't say. They just sat there quietly. Then the toddler stood up and said, look, you know, we should be honest. Yes. Oh, no. It's not good to lie. Oh, no. The fugitive's in there. Oh, no. They didn't call the fugitive and get the person's right. name. And they found the person hiding in the bathroom. Oh, so, my goodness. You know, you don't lie. You know the rest of the family members were like, no, no, and no. Oh. Well, they told the kid. I know. The kid does better than they do. Absolutely. That's right. Okay, here's the dog story. A one-year-old girl was trapped in a burning house in Detroit last week, and the family dog refused to leave without her. Now, the dog's name is Blue, and she's a pit bull uh, lab mix. Okay. And they rescued her from a shelter about two years ago. Okay. Firefighters say Blue helped them find the little baby, and then they were able to make them out safely. Wow. So everybody's out wow. safe. So this dog refused to leave the side of this baby while the fire was going on. Just by the fire barking. department came. Yeah, when the fire department came, it, it went and got the firefighters' attention to come and get the baby. Dogs are so smart. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And it was a rescue, rescue dog. dog. Oh, I love it. Yeah, all, we, we've best. said this before. Rescue dogs, it's like they know they've had a second chance in life, mm-hmm. and, and they've become such loyal Dogs. Oh, yeah. You can't out-love a rescue yeah. dog. What's the organization that you support uh, there, Jim? Taffy's Touch Senior Dog Rescue. There you go. Great well, dogs. They've got them in there all the time, always looking for fosters. Yeah, you can. if you want more about that, go to our Facebook page. You'll see uh, they're on our Facebook page yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. Very good. There you go. 639, that's some uh, good news for you. 95.5 WFMS. First day of March. It's a Wednesday. We've got a smile on our face. Let's add to that now <laughs> with Kevin's bad joke. Worth well, I hope the joke doesn't take the smile away. Oh, well, well, boy. Well. Okay. Again, let me remind you, the name of this feature is a bad joke. Worth repeating. Worth repeating. But the worth repeating part, you have to live up to that. But don't forget the bad joke that goes <laughs> in the front of that. So my dog is so lazy. He doesn't run after cars like other dogs. Instead, he stands on the sidewalk and... Takes down the license plate numbers. Oh my gosh. That's lazy. <laughs> That's but super he can lazy. write, which is impressive. And what a talent. Oh, that is a- Good morning, 722. Jim, Deb, and Kevin on this first day of March. And Kevin's got your Nash news now. Morgan Evans is talking. Yeah, I'll get to that in about 30 seconds. It's getting uh, ugly. Oh. Uh, Blake Shelton told Jimmy Kimmel that, and this is his words, it's a quote You're not crap in country music unless you own a bulldozer. Uh, And that's exactly what he bought when he finally made his first uh, song a big hit. (laughs) He went out and bought a bulldozer. That's his first big purchase? Yeah. So some folks would say a fancy car, a big house, but for for, uh, Blake, it is uh, a bulldozer. Now you know. Parker McCollum worked uh, the drive-thru at a restaurant in his hometown in Texas. And uh, oddly enough, a bunch of girls showed up. Hmm. (laughs) Imagine that. (laughs) It was uh, all for an event that he was doing, but he worked the drive-thru at the fast food restaurant and Bunch of girls showed up to see uh, to see him. <laughs> Morgan Evans released a uh, five part docu series that started out as a look into his life and music in Australia, but ended up featuring a lot of his divorce with Kelsey Ballerini. Oh, wow. Folks say this is going to oh, get ugly. Here we go. She's 
She said some things. Now he's going to say some things. Now they're both saying some things. It just mm. probably shouldn't be saying some yeah, things. Yeah, trying to say the same thing. Yeah. Eddie, five, five, WFMS. How about some Deb's Daily Dirt? It's getting ugly. It is getting ugly, and I was hoping it wouldn't. So we'll uh, mm. we'll get to that here in about 30 seconds or so. First, Khloe Kardashian had a tumor removed from her face. Oh, my gosh. Uh, a lot of people were worried about her, um, you know, recovery and and what she found out but she says i'm totally okay i just had to have it removed and now she's better so there you have it wow tom brady is not planning a career in stand-up comedy despite what you heard i heard a rumor of that yeah sources say he's in talks to be the subject of a roast on netflix okay i've never known him to be really. i know he seems to be pretty stoic yeah Yeah. i can't imagine that Mm -hmm. if you were wondering where savannah guthrie went she was rushed off the set of the today show yesterday that's because she tested positive for uh, for covid Uh oh Oh, um and so she was rushed off and said you know you got to quarantine so she's at home and then also, um, Morgan Evans released a five-part docu-series. It started out as a look into his life and his music and how he's from Australia. And it ended up featuring a very heavy dose of what he's been going through with his now public divorce from Kelsey Ballerini. She released a six-part docu-series uh, last week. It was very raw. So now I'm excited to watch his. Yeah, but that's I feel, your homework tonight. But I okay? feel a little guilty because... I don't know. I just feel like I hate that it's in public. I know you do, yeah, but you, this yeah. is your assignment. Uh, it was released early this morning, so it's just been released. But maybe one of the watch hats, it entertainment reporters. And so. then give us the okay. details yeah. tomorrow, okay? Okay, yeah, I got it. I'll, right. I'll report back. I mean, I like them both. They're both nice people. Uh-huh. So I hate that it's it's gotten like this. And getting ugly. Yeah, 826, that's Deb's Daily Dirt. And it's uh, sponsored by Mark Deedle Realty. 95.5 WFMS. Man, beautiful way to kick into March there. March the 1st it is, and a lot of sunshine and warmer temperatures today. Yeah, it makes you think about the uh, outdoor concert season that's coming Not up. Far. Uh, Not far. Uh, and, of course, we uh, we enjoy going out to Rue often and watching the concerts there. And mm-hmm. over the years, we've gotten to know some of the people who work there. Yes, we have. The gate attendants, oh, people yeah. who work backstage. Uh, Jim, you know the, the people that sell the beer. Uh-huh. You know who they are. Uh, <laughs> well, they are looking for those folks right now. Well, Live Nation is hiring seasonal workers uh, for the Ruoff concerts and events. So how about that? You could be working the event, working the concert, hear the music, and sure. get paid to do it, too. Yeah. I wonder if you could pick your show, though. Cause some, uh, I don't know uh, if you can or not. I know, I know a guy who works, used to work there. I don't know if he still does or not. He's a school teacher, and mm-hmm. he just does it for extra money here and there. And uh, he enjoys it because he said it's a fun crowd. They're nice people. Good people watching. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> Especially okay. about the end of the night. Now, I would say I know somebody that works there, too. They don't. They don't pick. They can't say I want to work only the country shows. Okay. They work all formats. Work yeah. Uh, see, Deb, you would enjoy it because there's a cash register involved. I love cash registers. And I know how you. Um, but most of it's that. debit now, so you don't even can make change. Just, well, yeah, that's true. Yeah. But still. Oh you know, yeah, because yeah. my favorite part about like working concession stands is when you flip the the little oh, the, money the, holder. Yeah, yeah, those yeah. Are, those the little clip gone, up. Oh yeah. man. Yeah, afraid, that's yeah. a good point there too. Yeah. Uh, I always yeah. thought it'd be fun maybe to be a grilled cook out there. You know, cook yeah. these burgers in a hot summer yeah. day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Now they do have an immediate open for you, Jim. It uh, involves a bucket and a mop, and it's the men's room. It's so if you if you're interested, they got an immediate open. You don't have to do an interview if you want for it. We'll just give you the phone. Well, I can sell the beer and then go clean there. I'm going to see the same people. You know, get yeah. down to it. They'll <laughs> be know. in there soon You're enough, not, right? Here's your beer. I'll see you in the men's room. I'll have them up. It's actually an accurate statement, Jimmy. <laughs>